I am an international medal winning athlete. My sport is wheelchair racing. I think, feel, dream and live like an athlete. But what do you see on stage? Do you see a disabled person, a top athlete, a speaker or just a human being? Every day I slip into new roles given to me by the people I meet. Sometimes, in their eyes, I'm a regrettable person in a wheelchair, faced with a heavy fate and met with pity. Sometimes I'm admired as the master of my destiny and a source of inspiration. And sometimes I'm a glorious sportsman who has already achieved a lot of success. Some even call athletes with a disability superhuman. And sometimes I'm a mixture of everything. From a victim to a hero, I cover all spectrums and I'm confronted with many stereotypes. At times it is quite confusing and exhausting to cope with on a daily basis. I have a choice either to respond to these roles given to me or to give me my own role. But one thing is clear. If I'm reduced to my handicap or if it is in the foreground, then this happens without contributing anything. I cannot help being in a wheelchair. I had no choice. But humans want to be distinguished and distinguish ourselves through special achievements or characteristics that they have worked for or made our own. So, I too strive for my own definition of who I am and want to be in the future. I also want to set my goals and live by my values. I renew myself. I strive for a better version of myself as an athlete, but also as a person, every day afresh. How do you define yourself? Think about which version you are and which one you want to be tomorrow and reinvent yourself. Life offers me so many opportunities to redefine myself, to rebuild, to thrive and to prosper. My disability forces me to put myself in the right spot again and again. But sport also offers an incredible number of opportunities which are to be exploited. In every training session, I try to become better, better than I was yesterday in order to perform stronger the next competition. To do this, I have to reach my limits again and again and again, overcoming limits and moving boundaries but I also have to know my potential and accept my limits. As a junior in training, I received an inspirational formula from my coach on how to become a champion. It's amazingly simple and reads X plus one. X is a placeholder for the maximum kilometers per hour I can achieve. At the moment, I manage to reach 37 kilometers per hour as the maximum top speed on the athletics track, just by propelling myself with my arms. So I try to shift this limit by one and become faster. Or X stands for a number of meters that I can complete at my performance limit, but I try to complete one meter more. Or if X attacks on my position are made in a competition, I will keep up with all these attacks. But in the end, I can do the decisive plus one attack. Often, there are tiny changes which are hardly noticeable as individual changes, but which together are the key factors that contribute to it being a victory or a defeat. Perhaps you have heard of the marginal gain method in sport. As an example, 
aerodynamics. If we save just a few barely noticeable watts of power through many small aerodynamic optimizations, the accumulation of these marginal gains over a longer period can amount to a few seconds or even a few minutes. Sport reflects a lot how we live. On the following slide, for example, you can see an illustration of supercompensation, which shows that after training load, the body not only restores the willingness to perform at the same level, but in the course of recovery, even increases performance beyond the original level. This is an adaptation reaction of the body as a result of stress-induced deflection from homeostasis, which seeks to rebalance the body's internal milieu with the help of regulatory systems. And it's the same in our life. If we initiate a new input in our life, to do this, we may also have to leave our comfort zone and show courage. We enter an imbalance. Our mental and physical conditions adapt. As a result, we become stronger, more resilient, and we experience growth. I personally experienced growth during the corona lockdown in the most impressive way. We all had to find a way of best dealing with it. We had to rethink, be flexible and creative, reorient ourselves and reorganize. We had to change our plans. We needed patience and perseverance, and we had to take detours. I used these difficult circumstances as a chance for a reset. I slowed down first, thought, focused on essential things, and learned to appreciate many things that were previously taken for granted. I got to know new forms of training and dedicated myself to things that I have been kicking down the road or ignoring. I had to cook more myself and learn a lot about nutrition. Believe it or not, but COVID made me even stronger. Another example is how to deal with winning and losing. As an athlete, I learned to accept defeats just as gracefully as I celebrate victories. Defeats are only one component in the process of success, but not an insignificant one. Thanks to defeats, I learned to classify victories better and to appreciate them, and they maintain a hunger for victory and passion. It also sharpens my awareness that success cannot exist without failure and that I cannot be successful without the athlete who is less successful. Just as there are countless polarities in our life that need and complement each other. We detest certain circumstances, but we do not realize that we need them to recognize other circumstances at all. A defeat, like an injury, is always a chance to renew oneself. You pause, analyze, learn from your mistakes, realign yourself and continue on your way. When you climb a mountain, the path is sometimes a bit stony. You stumble and you must take detours. You set yourself milestones. Once you reach a milestone, you pause for a moment, take a rest, and become aware of the long and difficult path you have already taken. You enjoy the few and suddenly notice that with every meter you conquer, the few becomes more breathtaking and you discover things you hadn't discovered before. And then you finally reach the top of the mountain, full of happiness, pride, and satisfaction. To sum up, define yourself, who you want to be and how others should perceive you. 
Discover yourself in all your facets. Accept your weaknesses as you accept your strengths. Recognize situations that offer you a chance to renew yourself. Take on challenges and inputs and learn from them because growth needs new challenges and new inputs. Big results are the sum of many small changes. And above all, stay true to your being, your values, your wishes, your goals, and your roots at all times. Thank you very much. <laughs>